Okay, hello you crazy people out there, this is Dragonite Spam, and welcome back to Bravely Default. So, it's been a little while since I recorded this game, it's been like three weeks, um, uh, MAGFest and all that, and some things have happened. Uh, for one, I'm going back to this vampire tower, somebody told me in the comments that I was going to miss something interesting if I, like, came back to this later, and I might as well give it a second try. <clears throat> um, speaking of MAGFest, a few things have happened, I don't want to go in there. Um, one, if I go into here, I have refreshed my list of, uh, like, guest summons, and this time I actually went through and, like, picked out the ones that would probably, uh, do most damage, as you can see. I don't have any of those, uh, like, underpowered ones that weren't even doing anything back in the beginning of this game. Uh, so that's one thing. I'm going to not use these guys unless I've decided if I, uh, if I fail a battle three times, I'm just going to go and spam friend summons because I don't want to be sitting playing this game forever. Um, this is a nice game, but this is part 95 of this playthrough. This is officially the longest I've ever kept a, uh, a game running. Uh, I think White 2 is 94 videos, this is 95. And I really don't want to be, like, going for the record or anything. I want to be playing other video games because I like video games. Um, what else was there? Oh, uh, another thing, and some people might not like this, but depending on how this game goes, I've said before that I'm guessing that I'm going to have to, like, go through and fight all the bosses one more time. Um, like a third alternate timeline kind of thing, where the heroes go through and fix everything up. And if it goes any farther than that, depending on how that goes, I might just put this game on hold for, like, another two years, because... I'll be honest, I like this game, uh, when I, like, first fought, like bravely back in like 50 videos ago but this is I know some of the fights have been optional but they're also really not if you want job points and stuff like that and a bit of storyline uh, this is honestly ridiculous and I don't like it when game developers do that kind of thing to extend playtime and I've complained about that in Super Mario many times um, and it's kind of showing up in here also like, I, I'm not familiar with that many, um, long JRPGs, but if there's, like, 50 hours of a video game, and it's 50 hours of content, and not, like, 20 hours of content repeated over and over, there's a difference. And I'll, I'll leave it off that. I'll complain about that another day, when I see how this goes. Anyway, uh, another thing you might have noticed is I'm not running into random encounters, because I think I showed this before when I came into this menu, but... I did a bit of level grinding, and by that I also mean I did a bunch of, uh, like, job levels. I think everybody's mastered Pirate, Ranger, and Spell Fencer. Um, or almost everybody has anyway. I think Tiz is working on Spell Fencer. And, yeah, I've gone after the physical job classes quite a bit because I did- I do still have a bunch of, uh, good physical weapons that I could, uh, probably be using. Anyway. Um, I have become aware, as somebody else pointed out in the comments, um, like, Actual levels don't make all that much of a difference in your stats. They make a little bit of a difference, it seems. But it's not like in Pokemon where you get like two and three stat points every level. It's more like a couple every, like one point every uh, couple levels, I think, it seems. Uh, equipment and job levels have much more of an impact. And when you're con uh, constantly like switching job uh, classes, you do lose stats like that. Anyway, um, it seems like we're almost here. And the adventurer is up here, and I'm gonna save just because I don't want to have to walk from this, like, most recent staircase to this place again. Alright, so before I actually start this battle, a few things I probably should point out. I forgot to talk about abilities. Um, Tiz is still miscellaneous so I can scan people and get their HP bars. And Yez is a knight with sword magic, uh, which I very much like because I think it's been established at this point in the game how much I like sword magic. Uh, Ring of Bell is a time mage with white ma with white magic, although I don't think he's going to be using it that much somehow. Uh, anyway, he does have the, uh, this is actually what I came in here for originally, but he does have the slow world ability, uh, which will cause everybody on the field to lose one BP every other turn. And that's going to be nice for keeping uh, my enemies from not moving. Magic defense 30% up. Oh yeah, he also has that, which I guess is something. And Adia has a, a black mage with white magic. Um, she also has that one equip that like raises her speed, so she's probably going to be going first. Uh, so I finally found a replacement ring bell. Let's see. Um, what's this? Oh. Really? I never knew that. Actually, I probably did. I just never actually paid attention to the fact that it was there. 
Anyway, what do you have? Um, nothing all that interesting. Um, yeah. Let's go and talk to this vampire guy. Or vampire, not vampire guy, whatever he prefers to call himself. And I can't skip this cutscene for some reason, and I don't know why, but let's go. So I kind of know what I'm doing here, and I might actually be able to win. Um, the, actually, the last time, the fail take, uh, as I would call it, because I don't have anything better to call it, um, of this battle that I had about five minutes ago wasn't a death. It was just I got myself into a situation where I couldn't really do anything. Well, the other thing that I do have the option to do, and I said that if I failed the battle three times, um, I would do this, but I have now failed this battle three times. And instead of sitting here forever, um, who... I want to say, this is like ridiculous six digits of pain, but... Here's another good summon I have. This looks like a good summon. I'm just going to use that once to see how it goes. Um, everybody else can default, except for Ring a Bell. Who is going to use auto life on everybody? If I can find it in the menu. Go three and four. And I'm just gonna see how much this one summon does. Yeah, so uh, auto life is nice. And apparently, DeRoso is going after Bring Bell in this battle, which is not common. Alrighty. It's nice. So this is going first too. What's he using, like a reduced priority attack or something? He's weak to light, I know that already. Can I speed this up a little please? But, <clears throat> yeah, I haven't done this in a while. I'm sorry to the person, I can't remember his name, but someone was yelling at me for using summons uh, earlier in this playthrough, but... At this point, like I've said earlier, I'm kind of beyond caring. I want to get through this game. That did half of his HP. Praise Jesus, indeed. He's gonna stab me with a thing. You know what? I want to get on with the story. Uh, where is this, the friend summon thing? Um, that took about, what, 30,000 to take him down? Is there anyone that's similar in power? There's that, which I can use, and... Uh, I don't know exactly how this damage is calculated, but I think the next one... That should come close to uh, taking him down. We'll see. Uh, Gravaga, fun! Bye, ring a bell. Oh, no, no one died. No one died. No one died. All right. Tis, um, go. All right. We're getting there. This is like really not fighting the boss, but it's more like using those, uh, what is it, like the Golden Mario thing in Super Mario that basically does the level for you. I can't remember what that's called, and I don't recognize that costume. Huh. Anyway, well, he's down to 25,000, which I guess is something. Um. Idea, I do need healing. Let's do this. He can't move this turn, which is nice. Um, Tiz and Anyaz will be able to move on the next turn. I don't know. I don't want to use another one. Uh, he's at, what, one-sixth of his max HP, and I want to see how much I can uh, take down. Physical attack up for allies. Um, let's see, sword magic. I have fire, and I have swords. And you're going to default, and you're going to default. Everybody still has, yeah, everybody still has auto life, so I should be okay for a little while at least. Um, <clears throat> we'll see. See, 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 words. And that did 3,000, okay. Come on, do more than that. These numbers are like tiny compared to what I've been seeing um, from everything else. But yeah, you can stab Tiz in the face, yes. You wasted your turn. Um, what do I have? Hit count up. Hit count up, we're going with hit count up. And sword magic for holy. And Adia can wait also. Let's see. We're getting there. 20,000. I do want to see what this like backstory thing is uh, afterwards. Ooh, nice. That, that hit the damage ceiling for uh, 
like standard game attack things. So eloquent. All right, this should take him down. Goodbye. All right, that was actually slightly overkill, but how can this be? Lester De Rosso has been defeated. Indeed. All right. Well, I get the vampire asterisk, and uh, a lot of job points. That was a lot of job points. No money or experience or anything like that. Actually, I think there was experience, because I wasn't looking at that uh, that meter, but this is, I think, the last asterisk that I'll be getting in regular play here, because I think one of them was, like, DLC or something in Japan or something weird like that. Um, yeah, absorb stats and abilities when attacking. That's nice. Learns the abilities of monsters. Interesting. Genome drain. What's that? Oh, it doesn't have a description. And, all right, Rod staves daggers, obviously. Uh, things that you would... Uh, associate with the, like magic side of uh, weapons. I just realized that this game also has the like warrior, mage, and thief uh, like stat categories. Behold, like I guess you associate a lot of RPGs with that, with having that. But I just realized that this game kind of does it too with the different weapon types. Anyway, um, he actually did not die. I think he's the first enemy that we defeated that didn't like die. Anyway, I would like to save. Wait a minute. I wasn't reading the names when they came up on the screen during the battle because I was worried about, like, damage and stuff, but did I actually get Proton John's Street Pass? Because he's from Canada and he was at MAGFest. And to me, he kind of looks like him several years ago. Alright. You know, I don't know why I saved, because it's going to autosave when I leave this area thanks to the teleport stone. Anyway. We're out of here. And now, I said earlier that I wasn't going to fight Patrofumilius again, but I changed my mind. <clears throat> He's the only boss that I haven't rematched in this timeline, so I might as well do it now. And I have a feeling, after uh, after the Vampire, he's not going to be that bad. If I'm wrong, well, it wouldn't surprise me because I've been wrong about a lot of things in this game, but uh, nevertheless, to stop running into the wall. And uh, we're going to go into this castle, and there's probably going to be a big long cutscene, as there usually is. And uh, we can run up the stairs. These are a lot of stairs. I wonder, like, in-universe how long that took to build. Or, that applies to a lot of things. And which, which way is it? This is out, right? I don't know how to get to him, I'm realizing. Do I have to go up these stairs over here on the left? Hmm. We'll see how this goes. That wasn't bad. Actually, it kind of was. Ow. There. NP. Same thing. Um, except I'll hit you with mouse because I couldn't find the sneeze in the menu. Because that's pretty much where this is gone. Is not reading menus. Ow. You know what? Auto battle. Let's see what auto battle does for me. Yes, I basically surrendered on this turn. If you can't tell, ow. It seems to... That one attack that he keeps spamming seems to only kick into effect if... Um... Like, you're at low HP. Because it didn't affect Ring Bell until he was pretty much... Yeah. At low HP. Well, that went well. Oh my god, this is still going. 